Tonight at 5, we hope to learn new details after officers recover a woman's body from a retention pond in Verona. Plus, how a new transportation partnership between Madison Police and an outside group aims to cut down on 200 hours of extra police work. And changes are coming to state-issued driver's licenses and ID cards. How officials hope they will better protect individuals. We're watching News 3 Now at 5. A bill making its way through the state legislature seeks to help combat sex trafficking in Wisconsin. The proposal would ensure minors who come forward are not held criminally liable for prostitution. Tahlil Modin joins us now with more details. Tahlil. Eric, people under the age of 18 in Wisconsin can be and have been prosecuted for prostitution, but state law also says they can't consent. Advocates say the current law just doesn't add up. The goal is to encourage young victims to come forward and report their traffickers, abusers who state legislators say often use the threat of arrest to manipulate victims into silence. Their trafficker will tell them, um, you can't talk about this to law enforcement because you'll get in big trouble, and so will I. Um, and I'm the only person who really cares about you, right? And so when we are able to arrest children, it kind of, it kind of feeds that misinformation. Similar legislation is currently in effect in 27 other states. Wisconsin legislators say they look to the success in places like Minnesota, having had increasing the numbers of traffickers convicted since establishing safe harbor laws as a motivator. This isn't the first time state legislators have pushed to enact safe harbor law in Wisconsin without success. Tonight at 6, I'll share why bill supporters say this time around things are different. Tahlil, thank you. Now time to get a look at our first foreign weather. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti out on the weather patio. Gary? Eric, we snuck in another warm day today. We thought we'd see some showers and thunderstorms pop up, but so far that hasn't been the case, at least across southern Wisconsin. There have been some showers and storms up in northern Wisconsin and parts of eastern Minnesota. But with time, eventually we'll see those showers and storms start to develop a little farther to the south. But we've been under bright sunshine. That's allowed temperatures to warm up pretty nicely after a cooler night last night. There also is an air quality advisor that continues until midnight tonight for that wildfire smoke that's continued to provide a haze in the air. Low temperatures last night, a little cooler, 51 in Madison. Uh, many locations were in the lower 50s, but high temperatures so far today have been well into the 80s. Uh, a few places uh, out west in the upper 80s, and right now we're looking at temperatures that are in the middle 80s. Madison right now at 84 degrees. Here in Dane County, we've got uh, 86 degrees in Middleton and 84 in Sun Prairie. Look for skies to gradually become mostly cloudy this evening. I think the evening will stay dry as temperatures drop into the lower 70s, but there will be a chance for showers and thunderstorms later tonight and tomorrow. I'll tell you how great those chances will be in just a few minutes. Gary, thank you. New tonight, Verona police are investigating after a body of a Madison woman was found in a retention pond. Crews were called to the 100 block of Cross Country Road. That's near Enterprise Drive just before 830 this morning. Police say the woman was alone, and at the moment it's unclear how she died, but they also say her death is an isolated incident and there is no threat to the public. Officers have not yet released the victim's name. Now to Black Earth, where an office building is considered a total loss after a fire there. It happened just before one this afternoon in the 4900 block of Icefelt Road. No injuries were reported, but Dane County deputies say estimated damages amount to between $500,000 and $700,000. A home and barn on the property were not damaged. It's still unclear what caused that fire. A deputy and an officer are on administrative leave in St. Croix County. That's up near the Twin Cities after a deadly shooting there. Authorities were called to a home on County Highway CC in Star Prairie for a domestic disturbance last night. A woman told dispatchers her husband was, quote, out of control and threatening her. When officers arrived, the man began threatening them and was spotted holding a rifle. The man eventually came out of the house and confronted officers. That's when a St. Croix County deputy and a new Richmond officer shot at him. The 42-year-old man was struck and died at the scene. An investigation is ongoing. A new transportation partnership between Madison Police and an outside group aims to cut down on some 200 hours of extra police work. Ready Transit will help drive patients to care at Winnebago Mental Health. Our Catherine Merck joins us live now in downtown Madison to explain what city leaders hope this means for support in these 911 calls. Catherine. Eric, the department's assistant police chief told me police spend hours responding to patients and then even more time getting them to the place where they need to get their care. The assistant police chief tells me this new plan and partnership will reduce those hours and give them back to the community police serve. Having up to two officers or even more at the time having to leave the city to transport people outside the city for hours 
at times, it didn't, doesn't seem like a good use of, of funding. Both city leaders and Madison police agree. It takes too many resources to drive mental health patients out to get the help they need at Winnebago Mental Health out in Oshkosh. The solution of third party help came after state and city approval. They're essentially um, a part of now a handoff. This plan now has officers leading patients through medical aid at a hospital, and then the patient will be sent to Winnebago through ready transports. The police department's assistant chief told me this will not only help with police staffing, it'll also be better for those going through the crisis. And that can be some traumatic time, you know, for an individual who's suffering a mental health crisis. Um, it's removing them from that, and, and we're hoping it gives them a better experience. It is good to be able to provide our citizen, our, our community, um, the resources that they need, especially when they're having a, a mental health breakdown. Madison's District 10 Alder says the move doesn't get police away from these kind of calls. Instead, it will help support these difficult situations for everybody involved. We're not saying we are, we are removing um, police departments from the equation. We are saying we're providing the resources for the police department to serve the community better. It's the goal for the time that was once spent driving will now be able to serve our community when it needs it most more effectively. So to have a combination of services that are that best meets their needs um, is it, super important. The pilot program began on June 1st and is expected to run throughout the summer. Reporting live in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. Catherine, thank you. In 2019, after Democrats swept elections for statewide office in Wisconsin, Republican lawmakers held a lame duck session to strip powers from the incoming governor and attorney general before they took office. Well, today, the legal fight contesting one of those laws continues even as Governor Evers and Attorney General Josh Call have won re-election and are serving in their second terms. Call is challenging parts of the lame duck laws limiting the power of his office to reach settlements in civil lawsuits. The legislature does not have any more power than what the Wisconsin Constitution gives to it. And what we know is that the legislature has never before in Wisconsin history had a shared role in settling these categories, even to quote unquote big money settlements. Whatever the court decides will be appealed to the Wisconsin Supreme Court. If the court takes up the lawsuit after August 1st, it will be the first lame duck legal challenge to face a liberal majority. The Dane County Regional Airport celebrating the official opening of the new South Terminal expansion this morning. The 90,000 square foot space adds three gates, providing accommodations for more flights and more passengers. It costs $85 million. The top floor with the gates has, ex has an expanded business center, a play area for children, a nursing suite for mothers, a changing station for adults with disabilities and a service animal relief area. The first flight to use the terminal will arrive tomorrow morning. And football season will be a few months away, of course, with the Packers already planning family night. And this year's event will be held Saturday, August 5th. It'll feature a full practice. The doors open at 5.30. Packers will take the field at 7. Tickets go on sale at 10 a.m. on June 29th. will cost $10. You can buy them on Ticketmaster, but there is a limit of 10 per purchase on the first day of sales. Parking will also cost an additional $5. New at 5, the next time you update your driver's license, you may spot a few things that look a little different. The DMV announcing new security features for driver's licenses and ID cards earlier today. The changes will make the cards more fraud resistant. The new cards feature familiar Wisconsin imagery like the state capitol and the state flag and also feature transparent windows on the card's right edge and the back bottom edge. A clear ribbon continues off the card's edge and contains cardholder data. Wisconsin is the first state to use such a feature and that orange donor dot for those who participate in the organ donation registry will be found on a larger sugar maple leaf and can be felt. For more information, look for this story at channel3000.com. Today marks the day the Treasury Department said the U.S. would run out of cash to pay its debts unless Congress passed a bill to raise the debt ceiling. Well, President Biden signed that bill into law on Saturday, averting a potential economic crisis. But even though the agreement was passed and signed into law, Fitch Ratings warned it could still downgrade the country's credit rating. It also said repeated political standoffs and pushing the deal to the final hour lowers confidence in the government. It's not good for the United States to go through this. It's a political process. It's, it's good they came to resolution. It's good it's behind us. Bank of America's CEO Brian Moynihan predicts a mild recession as early as the third quarter. Now to the rising tensions between the U.S. and China highlighted in two recent close calls. Saturday, a Chinese warship crossed in front of an American destroyer in the Taiwan Strait. 
And then last week, a Chinese fighter jet flew across the path of a U.S. plane, causing turbulence. Chinese generals imply the U.S. provoked them by simply being in the area. To avoid similar incidents, they're calling on the U.S. to steer clear of areas around China. U.S. officials said these are routine air and sea patrols and want to underscore their position that this is international space open to everyone. But China claims the democratic self-governing island of Taiwan is part of its own territory and maintains the strait as part of its exclusive economic zone. While the U.S. and its allies regularly sail through and fly over the passage to stress their contention that the waters are international. Russia's defense minister says their forces have stopped a major Ukrainian offensive in southern Ukraine and killed hundreds of Ukrainian troops. Kyiv authorities suggested the claims that major battles are underway were a Russian misinformation ruse. It was unclear whether the reported attack represented the start of a long-expected Ukrainian counteroffensive to recapture some of the territory taken by Russian forces after it sent tens of thousands of troops into Ukraine back in February of 2022. Coming up, Gary has our latest complete forecast, and we're learning new details about a deadly plane crash in Virginia, including what happened inside that aircraft moments before it went down. And on Wall Street, the week begins with red numbers. The Dow Jones falls almost 200 points. The NASDAQ down more than 11. S&P 500 closes down eight and a half. We'll be right back. Your John Deere is here. Get yours during our Green Tag sales event. Right now, get your new full-size or mid-size Gator with 0% for 36 months. Get a John Deere now and... Power up at Sloan's. Think Sloan's first. Fry Construction is celebrating 28 years with a big, big, big anniversary sale. Join us to save 28%. That's right, 28%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer three years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Act now for 28% off gutters or insulation with any full roofing project. Schedule your free consultation today at FryConstruction.com. Trust your feet to Morgan's Shoes. Birkenstock ushers in a new collection with clean lines, easier than ever closures, and the most necessary footbed in your closet. Slide into Morgan's Shoes and shop our new Birkenstock arrivals. See what's fresh for spring and summer. Birkenstock platforms and wedges, cork-powered sneakers, or up your game with our iconic men's and women's sandals. Comfort with style. Trust your feet to Morgan's Shoes. Morgan's Shoes, Hildale. You want it, we got it, it's all here. Rose Martin, you want the night lights, the bright lights, I'll put you in the spotlight light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want sour, well now I'll show you where you gotta be. Tell you what you gotta see. Who is gonna make you smile? You want it, we got it, it's all here. Summertime fun is in full swing in Rosemont. From grand slams to hot jams to Rosemont at your way, start at Rosemont.com. Rosemont in. Our phones keep us constantly connected. Can you switch to airplane mode? But what if they had a mode to help us actually connect? Introducing what Us Mode, a mode that makes our phones less distracting so we can focus on quality time. So the notifications we get <laughs> are the ones that matter. So we're never distracted from what's most important. Visit U.S. Cellular in-store or online to set up Us Mode for free, even if you're not a customer. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Run with Sloan's. Meet your Sloan starting lineup. The John Deere MVP, our 1025R compact utility tractor with 120R loader. Just $189 per month. Get a John Deere now and... Power up with Sloan's. Think Sloan's first. A major breakthrough for child trafficking victims. We sit down with one of the authors of a new bill that could make it easier for them to come forward. Plus, an in-depth look at food insecurity in Dane County. That's tonight on News 3 Now at 6. One mission, to end breast cancer. Join us on Saturday, June 10th at 9 a.m. for the Susan G. Komen South Central Wisconsin More Than Pink Walk. Please register today and witness the power you have to change lives. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. A Davenport, Iowa community gathered for a candlelight vigil over the weekend for three men who were killed when their apartment building 
partially collapsed last week. The bodies of the three men who had been reported missing were found over the weekend and also early this morning. Authorities say family members of the victims have now been notified. Crews are now focused on carefully removing debris from the site before the entire building collapses. We will be entering a new chapter, a new phase in the process um, of working through the aftermath of the collapse. We don't have any other information at this time that there is any additional people missing. One of the residents injured in the building collapse has sued the city and the building's current and former owners, alleging they knew the building had structural problems and failed to warn residents. We're learning new details after a small private aircraft crashed in Virginia over the weekend. Officials say the pilot was unresponsive as the plane flew dangerously close to the U.S. Capitol airspace, leading to an emergency response from F-16 fighter jets that caused a sonic boom in the region. Gloria Pasmino has the latest. The wreckage is highly fragmented and in very, um, very rural and mountainous terrain, and it'll be a very challenging accident site. Investigators from the National Transportation Safety Board are beginning to sift through the site of a fatal airplane crash in a rural part of Virginia. The biggest frustration out of all that was finding the location um, and trying to gain access to it. Investigators are looking into why the small aircraft became unresponsive mid-flight, missed its destination, and then turned back, eventually plunging to the ground, killing all four passengers on board, according to the FAA. The airplane, the engines, the weather conditions, pilot qualifications, the maintenance records, all aspects will be, uh, of course, items that we routinely look at. FAA records show the aircraft is registered to a Florida-based company. John Rumpel, whose wife Barbara is listed as the president of the company, told the New York Times his daughter, a two-year-old granddaughter, and her nanny were on the plane returning home to New York from North Carolina. Officials say as the plane flew over the U.S. Capitol region on Sunday, the pilot was unresponsive. As military fighter jets rushed to intercept the aircraft. That's when you heard the sonic booms. The sound shaking homes and shocking people across the area. The house rocked, the windows rattled, and I mean, it was done like that. Obviously freaked out a little bit. I'm Gloria Pasmino reporting. NTSB officials said they expect to be on site for at least three days. Once the wreckage is moved to a secure facility, the agent will issue a preliminary report within 10 days. Officials say it could take up to two years to issue a final report on exactly what happened here and why. Well, let's get a look at your complete first warm forecast. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti joining us. Gary? It's warm out there. The wildfire haze continues. Three things you need to know in the forecast. We're going to see that continue at least for tonight. It'll start to dissipate as the air gets mixed up a little bit with some showers and isolated thunderstorms that will start developing. Uh, the chances for showers and storms probably highest overnight into the day tomorrow, but the key word there, chance. Not everybody will see them. And then we have a, a period of dry weather from Wednesday through Friday, maybe some thunderstorms uh, Friday night into Saturday, and then another period of several days of dry weather early next week. Air quality advisory continues for all of Wisconsin as well as parts of northeastern Illinois and eastern Minnesota. That until midnight tonight for particulate matter that's suspended in the air because of that wildfire smoke. Uh, some of that is being uh, mixed down near the ground, and you can certainly see that haze here. This is actually originating from wildfires in eastern Canada and being transported back all the way into the Midwest. But uh, a cold front is dropping south. It's actually kind of moved through. And then we're starting to see a little more shower and thunderstorm activity develop behind the front. Now, we thought we'd see some rain today. Rain vision shows that we didn't. Uh, most of that has been out to the east. And most of that was actually last night over toward uh, parts of eastern Iowa near uh, Waterloo and Cedar Rapids. Some areas picked up about one to two inches of rain there. But today, so far, the showers and thunderstorms have been to our north and to our west. A few starting to pop up just north of Oak clear and it looks like a little shower uh, just to the north of Anago. But eventually these showers will start working their way southward. And if we look at future track radar, we'll see a little better chance for some showers. Now the first batch may die out, but a second batch could form tomorrow morning. And then we see a little bit of a break and maybe a few more later tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night. And then as the drier air starts to work its way in, we'll actually see the skies clear out as we head into the day on Wednesday and be back to mostly sunny skies. And you can see the spotty nature of the precipitation. Some 
areas may pick up a half inch or more if you get caught under a heavier thunderstorm. That'll be maybe 10% of our viewers, uh, about 30% probably getting at least a little bit of rain, a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain, and maybe half or more of our viewers not seeing any rain at all. Temperatures right now, again, back into the mid 80s here, La Crosse in the upper 80s. Cooler weather to the north and east. Temperatures upper 70s to around 80 in northeastern Wisconsin. But you can see the heat still there. A uh, few places around 90, including Sioux Falls, South Dakota. The showers and thunderstorms farther out to the west, not as prevalent as they've been the last couple of days. The dew point temperatures are actually highest over northwestern Wisconsin, whereas here in southern Wisconsin, the dew points are in the upper 40s. So as those showers and storms try to work their way southward, they get into that dry air and they just kind of fizzle out. So we've got to get the atmosphere moistened up to the point where we can get some rain. Again, air quality advisory in effect until midnight for all of our viewing area. Planning your night, low of 60 Verona, 62 in Brooklyn, and 60 in Windsor with a shower or thunderstorm chance overnight. 60 for the low in Madison, 61 in Watertown, and 62 in Baraboo. For tomorrow, look for uh, mostly cloudy skies. It'll be cooler with a shower or thunderstorm chance. High temperature at 77. Planning your day, well, again, shower and thunderstorm chances arrive mainly later on tonight, but you can see how widely scattered they are. Temperatures dropping off to about 60 early tomorrow morning, and then some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Probably best chances will be in the morning, and then those rainfall amounts, again, very spotty. Some areas a half inch or more of rain, other areas, no rain at all. First one, 7 to 10 day forecast. We stay in the 70s through Thursday, get back into the low 80s for the end of the week. Maybe a thunderstorm chance Friday night, a little better chance Saturday. It's probably our best chance of rain. And then you can see those temperatures drop off a bit and warm right back up into the mid 80s. A little more humidity could lead to some thunderstorm chances toward the end of next week. As we look at first warrant traffic right now, there have been some delays on the eastbound belt line. There was an earlier accident there, and that's still causing delays on the eastbound belt line. Not as bad as it was earlier, but a 22 minute trip between University. Avenue, the interstate, 16 minutes going back in the westbound direction, and 18 minutes from Sun Prairie into downtown Madison. Heading outbound on the uh, I-3990 to uh, from the Beltline to Janesville, take you 26 minutes. It's 16 minutes, Middleton to Sauk City and US-12, and downtown to Sun Prairie and East Washington Avenue, takes you 19 minutes. That's your news through now, first warrant traffic. Gary, thank you. Millions are getting their hands dirty to mark World Environment Day, an event celebrating action around the globe to help save the planet. Now, the message is the same wherever you go. Everyone can do their part to create a more sustainable world. And it's in Paris, it is a race. They're working around the clock to make the toxic River Seine swimmable for the Summer Olympics next year. The biggest polluter of the Seine River are the big rain events, which bring a lot of uh, untreated sewage in the, in the water through combined sewer overflows. It's quite a task. It is the 50th anniversary now of World Environment Day, and this year's theme is Solutions to Plastic Pollution, with people encouraged to share ideas using the hashtag Beat Plastic Pollution. Next at 5, teachers weigh in on a nationwide debate. Should educators be armed in schools? What they would and wouldn't make, what they say wouldn't and would not make schools safer. Stay with us. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. It's a brand new day. Don't let junk get in the way. All you have to do is point. <laughs> and you'll be back to your old self again. <laughs> yeah! Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. We went to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison last night. I don't really get how the jackpots work. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison actually has had multiple million dollar winners. There are linked progressive slot machines at the same casino where local players increase the jackpot amount. And a standalone progressive jackpot increases when a player plays on an individual machine that isn't linked to any other machine. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, more ways to win. Find your perfect jackpot. Whole Chunk Gaming Medicine. In 2023, Eye Care Medicare Plan members receive $150 a month total for food, OTC products, and more when using the spending account card, plus dental and vision coverage. Rest easy. Eye Care is looking out for you and your health. At Foster Funeral and Cremation Services, we honor legacies. Let us take care of the arrangements so you can focus on saying goodbye. Veteran owned and operated. Experience exceptional care and affordable service with Foster Funeral and Cremation Services. 
At the Spectrum Lab, we're bringing you the best in connectivity with Spectrum One. Get Spectrum Internet with the fastest speeds in the nation, so you always have enough speed for all your devices. Plus, advanced Wi-Fi delivering state-of-the-art security and privacy. Plus, Spectrum Mobile gives you unlimited talk, text, and data on a reliable nationwide network. Get Spectrum One with Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi, plus your first line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited, free for 12 months. Call 833-792-4999. Visit Spectrum.com or Spectrum Store today. Chip, <clears throat> just taking a break. That window's a bear. Don't worry, my cousin's got a guy. <laughs> hey, I'm not sure I can help you with the house gas, but I can help you replace this window fast. Let the experts at Feldco kickstart your summer with two for one windows and no interest until 2025. Plus, we'll get it done with Feldco fast. Two for one windows won't last long. Hurry, call now. Call 866 for Feldco. Miss the news and need to know what's going on where you live? News 3 Now is always on. Download the Channel 3000 app and get video on demand whenever and wherever you need it. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. It's a brand new day. Don't let junk get in the way. All you have to do is point. <laughs> and you'll be back to your old self again. <laughs> yeah! Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.com. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. And some breaking news out of Milwaukee. The Bucks have now officially announced Adrian Griffin as the team's new head coach. The former Toronto Raptors assistant will be the Bucks' 17th head coach. He brings 15 seasons of NBA coaching experience to the team. You can read more about that announcement at channel3000.com. Well, gun violence is considered a serious public health threat in the U.S. And now a new survey shows teachers are split about whether arming themselves would make schools safer. Astrid Martinez explains. Gun violence and school safety are top of mind for every community, especially for parents, students, and teachers. Now, a RAND Corporation survey finds one in five teachers say they would be interested in carrying a gun to school. 20% believe teachers carrying a gun would make schools safer, but 54% believed armed teachers would make schools less safe, and 26% feel either way it would not make a difference. I think that they're just under a lot of stress. Emily Rovar is a licensed social worker at Gen Psych. She says teachers today bear a greater burden. Not only are they teaching our children, they are having to be mental health professionals in a way, dealing with high emotions, dealing with kids in distress. And then in the back of their mind, they always have the thought of what if someone does come in this school. And while guns are certainly a big worry, the survey shows teachers' top safety concern is bullying. Rovar says social media plays a big role and makes situations a lot worse. It is something that is really pervasive and it's increasing and it's something that we need to talk about and do something about. Her suggestions? Increasing the presence of safety officers and mental health professionals in schools. Steps that could help students and their teachers feel safer. Astrid Martinez, CBS News, New York. The survey also found teachers feel it is important to have a system of threat reporting and intervention. Most are confident that safety threats would be reported. We'll have a final check of your first warn forecast after a short break. No matter the trade, Master Force has the tools to complete your next project. Whether you're making repairs or installing a new upgrade, we have the tool for you. Load up your toolbox and get rolling with Master Force. Get your choice of this 7 and a quarter inch circular saw blade or this two pack of quick change utility knives for just $5.95 after rebate. Or grab this eight piece set of magnetic screwdrivers for $14.99 after 11% rebate. 
Do you suffer with pain, numbness, and tingling in the hands or feet? Commonly diagnosed as peripheral neuropathy, are you taking drugs such as Lyrica or Gabapentin that have serious side effects and often do not relieve your symptoms? Your doctor has told you you may just have to live with the pain. Peripheral neuropathy is a result of damage to the nerves, often causing burning, weakness, pain, numbness, tingling, and the most debilitating balance problems. Our facility uses multiple therapeutic methods to help give you relief from neuropathy symptoms with no injections and no drugs. You may start seeing relief after only a few sessions. To determine if your neuropathy symptoms can be relieved, we will do a consultation to evaluate the extent of your condition. Call us today to schedule your neuropathy consultation to find out if you're a candidate for our therapy. Call today. Come see Tootsie, the Tony Award-winning feel-good comedy musical about Michael Dorsey, a desperate actor who just hit rock bottom. Little did he know, he had nowhere to go but down. Get your tickets today at Overture.org. As a veteran of our country's armed services, you have already made the ultimate sacrifice. Through no fault of your own, you may be experiencing hardships, such as the inability to pay rent, utilities, or receive other life-sustaining services. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin. No Wisconsin veteran should ever have to face homelessness or lose heat, power, or water again. Want to work out for free? This summer at Anytime Fitness, you can get up to three months free. Get more for your membership than just machines with 24-7 access and a community of support. Hurry, the earlier you join, the more you save. Stop into Anytime Fitness now and get the summer free. Still have hazy skies from that wildfire smoke. There's live view from the WISC TV Sky Cam. Platteville Queenie Radio Sky Cam also shows some smoke there. Air quality advisory in effect until midnight for particulate matter in the air from that wildfire smoke. Temperatures right now pretty warm, mainly in the 80s, but notice it is turning a little cooler closer to Lake Michigan. Here in Dane County, 86 in Middleton. Uh, temperatures mainly in the mid 80s. Look for them to drop into the lower 70s by late evening, but it should be dry the weekend. It's nice evening. to get some rain to clean that air out. I know. Bit. We're back in 30 minutes for News 3 Now at 6. CBS Evening News is.